Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Rick here with probably my last um, Prism break videos for a while. Uh, we have two packages here from Card Shop Live. One from Big Night Breaks, which was also on Whatnot, and then one from Cards Infinity. This one here is actually the new undercard um, wrestling, so we'll do this first. The way this bro break worked was... Um, you buy a spot in the break and they randomize the number um, zero to, or I guess one to zero, like one through nine and then zero. And then you get the cards based on the serial number or the uh, card number of your hits. So I had spot number five. So we're going to see what I got. And I did watch this break because it was a lot shorter. So I know I did pretty decent for my spot. Like I said, this is the new undercard, um, which is a lower end prism break. I don't want to give away that card there, so I'll flip that over. So they do throw in base cards, but um, the I believe they're called the disco cards, which is this card here with the sparkle. Should only be based on the last number of the card being a five or the last number if it's a serial numbered card also being a five. So we have Eric from the Viking Raiders. And then they just throw in base cards. Um, so hopefully a lot of these I need because they're probably people I did not have in breaks. Um, so hopefully I can work on my set and try to complete that. We have an Eliza Alexander rookie card silver there. Finn Balor disco. I do love the look of the disco cards and need to get um, discos from my PC of Aoife Valkyrie as well as Nikita Lyons. Speaking of the devil, Nikita Lyons, another base card to uh, continue my ever-growing collection. I do love that picture of Cowboy Brock Lesnar from uh, SummerSlam. This is, oh, excuse me, this is really cool. This is a top-tier uh, disco card of Jay Uso, so number to five, so I got that card. A Ludwig Kaiser disco. Hulk Hogan base, Dana Brooke, Ricochet, Dakota Kai, Mankind. Um, that's weird. A very messed up Von Wagner base card. We'll just put that off the side. That is a cool card. Maxine Dupree rookie. A Prismatic Entrance Disco Triple H. The cool thing about these disco cards is because it's in a product called Undercard, they have um, parallels of people like The Undertaker. The Rock, um, where it uses an older picture from earlier in their career or a different character that they used. So for The Undertaker, there's a Mean Mark Halloway, uh, Callaway card. For Triple H, there's when he played Hunter Hearst Helmsley. But the look of the disco cards are really, really sharp. So I did fairly good. It was a two box or three box break. So only 10 packs. I hit five discos ending in five, which is awesome. And I hit two serial numbered cards. The first being this red Yokozuna here. I'm going to hide this card over here. So it's off screen for a second. So as you can see, this card is numbered to 99. And because the serial number ends in a 5, I won that card. So a Yokozuna, number 25 and 99. And this card, I actually already have a deal in place to sell it. It is a gold disco Ila Dragunov numbered five of 10. So I hit a gold. It was actually probably the best hit in the break. The autographs were pretty weak in the three boxes. Uh, the downfall with the undercard is you only get one autograph in a box compared to the two you get in hobby. However, the price on the uh, undercard boxes right now is like $80 less. So uh, I, I really do enjoy the look of the disco cards. Um, so that is my experience with the undercard product. I'm going to open the Big Night Breaks package next because I honestly don't remember what I got. I think this was a two box break and it was based on like spinning a wheel and you got particular letters from the alphabet. Let's see. I do feel a top loader, which is usually a decent sign. Two top loaders. Actually, multiple. What are all those? Okay, that is promising. Uh, this was another break I honestly did not watch. Hopefully I got some cool letters though. Let's see here. We'll leave that there. We got B, 
space here. So it looks like I had the letter O. There's Batista, so I had the letter B. So solid names in B. Um, Brock Lesnar, Becky Lynch, Bailey, Big E. So O, not so much. You got Otis and Oro Mensa. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll open this one. We'll save the, the top loaded cards for last. Hopefully I hit something cool. Serial numbered or maybe an autograph. I hope they didn't put silvers and stuff in uh, top loaders. We got V. V is in a very strong letter, except for Bahala, which is um, Sarah Logan's new character. I, Ivy Nile, Eo Sky, Isla Dawn, who I also collect in my collection. Indy Hartwell. And then L. So L.A. Knight, Lacey Evans, Ludwig Kaiser. So let's see here. I do see a serial numbered card. Becky Lynch and Batista. So that rounds out the base cards. Yeah, so they top loaded silvers. So we have a silver butch here. A silver boa. I wouldn't really top load these cards personally. Um, silver Valhalla. And a silver Lacey Evans. Oh, we did hit a red prism here. Or a ruby wave, I, sh I should say. Bubba Ray Dudley, Silver, <clears throat> Braun Strowman, Ruby Wave, and last but not least, we hit an Orange Batista. Well, that's a solid hit. Um, I don't even remember uh, what I paid to get into this break particularly. Um, also ends with number five, so we've gotten that out of the other break. But Batista, 35 and 99, a solid card there, um, but nothing stand out or really crazy. And then lastly, my last two breaks from Card Shop Live for a little while. Like I said, I do plan on getting some um, Prism Hobby Boxes. In the, ooh, well that's an awesome hit right on the top there. I do plan on getting some more Prism Hobby Boxes at a discounted rate. Uh, let's just talk about this top card really fast. An Ivy Nile Mojo, numbered 8 of 25. I actually uh, may have somebody that I personally collect their mojo card from last year coming uh, in the mail. So Ivy Nile, 8 of 25 mojo. That is a cool card. <clears throat> I am a fan of Ivy Nile. I think she has a lot of potential um, to be a breakout star in the WWE. We have Bridget's favorite here, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Just a base card though. Rob Van Dam. So what they're doing now for Card Shop Live, they're kind of smart. They're basically just sending a chunk of base cards because they were spending hours and hours separating out all the wrestlers and just you would get like 10 of one wrestler. Now they're just taking a handful of cards and sending them your way, which I think is the, the smarter play. But then for the silvers and the inserts, you do get your wrestlers. So here's... A couple Aoife Valkyrie silvers, which obviously I, I own a few times over. I don't have a lot of her color variants, sadly. Uh, then we have a silver Ivy Nile there. Some more Nikita Lions uh, top tiers. But this is a card I did not yet own. This is the silver variant Nikita Lions um, top tier, which I love the look of. Uh, I've seen some of the gold in this design. It's really sharp, but that is cool. That is going in the PC. Did not yet own that. Then we have a Hyper Nikita Lions. A Caden Carter. Ooh, I see gold here. A Caden Carter Silver. A Caden Carter Hyper. I'm trying to hide. I'm going to hide that card. Oh, yeah, I can palm the card. A purple Caden Carter number to 149 there. And then a gold Caden Carter. Now this is the pure gold, uh, not the gold shimmer as you've probably seen in my other videos or the gold disco that I showed you earlier. Numbered 5 of 10, Caden Carter gold. Uh, my buddy Twist of Wax, I'm sure he'll be watching this. Uh, somebody I befriended off of whatnot is a huge Caden fan, so when I see a spot and break cheap, I try to buy it and, you know, look out for him. So this card will definitely be heading his way. We'll discuss a deal, and uh, I will send this out to him because he is a 
Caden Carter Mega Collector. So that's a very solid break. A Mojo Ivy Nile and a Caden Carter um, Gold. <clears throat> also the Silver Nikita. This package is huge. Um, there's a ton of cards in here. Trash all over the place. This is just an Aoife Valkyrie Hyper that they top loaded. I have to start going through my PC and seeing what I have and start making a list out of the new stuff. What I have, what I don't need, what I need. This is just my pile of base cards it looks like. Yep, random base. So... Hopefully, like I said, um, I'll be pretty close to my complete set. I have a feeling I'm going to need some of the rookies um, still. But other than that, I should have a pretty good near complete set. We have a Ruby Wave Joe Gacy as well as a Silver Joe Gacy. Nothing too exciting there. There's a bunch of top. We'll save that. This looks like a bunch more base, and there is some color in here, so let's see. Let's do... We'll do this. So we have a Hyper Katana Chance, more base cards. We got Katana Chance, serial numbered. Blue Katana Chance card, solid. Casey Catanzaro, who was on American Ninja Warrior, has gone on to be a fun wrestler to watch in NXT. She teams with uh, Caden Carter. And uh, I'm a fan of her stuff. It's usually fairly inexpensive in a break. Let's see. I think I actually got a message about this card. If I... Not that card. That's Iron Sheik, Legends of the Hall. Yeah, uh, that is an Iron Sheik. Of course, he this K is totally off the sticker, so it's the Iron She. Um, like you, it's the downfall with sticker autographs, especially somebody like Iron Sheik who's pretty old. Uh, I guess he doesn't really pay attention where the sticker begins and ends. He had a lot of room over here, but um, ran out of space, so. Bookend, number 49 of 49, Iron Sheik. Like I said, sadly, the K cut off of the autograph, so it's going to hurt the value, but still a very cool uh, card. And then we have a bunch of top-loaded stuff here. So, let's see. We have a cat meow in the other room, but we're almost done. A Hyper Indy Hartwell... A Silver Ivy Nile, a couple more Sheik inserts, Ruby Wave, Caden Carter. Uh, do we want to flip or go in the back? Let's flip. Wow, oh, that was a misleading card. Ivy Nile, Silver. Let's see. Okay, so it's all color. It doesn't look like any autographs. A Silver Caden Carter, a Silver Wendy Chu. A blue, oh, oh, I'm just jumping ahead. Nothing super exciting, but a red Aoife Valkyrie. I don't believe I have that yet in the PC. So that is a PC card there. A couple blue cards of Joe Gacy, both numbered to 199, number 72, and number 87. And then a couple more reds, Ivy Nile and Caden Carter, both numbered to 299. Ivy Nile's 26, and Caden's 282. So all in all, uh, fairly solid, uh, you know, the gold uh, disco, definitely a highlight. The best card here is probably the Caden, pure gold, and then the Iron She <laughs> autograph. It's like I said, it's a shame the K is missing, but those are definitely the top hits. And then for me, the uh, the Aoife Valkyrie red and the, there it is, jeez, I have cards all over the place, Nikita Silver are probably the top things for my PC in here. Like I said, I do love the look of the disco. 
um, cards that are in Undercard. So that is it, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this. I really, uh, I know I mentioned it in the last video. I do need to record movie videos. I have a ton of stuff that I have to show you guys dating back to, I want to say, November of last year. So I just got to find the time to record those. This is a lot easier. I just set up the mat on the table, put the camera in front of me, and uh, show you guys what I got. So hopefully you enjoy this content. Like I said, movie content is coming soon. And that is it, guys. So as always, until next time. Who's down to movie?